Right, okay, talk us through your your sporty little car. The Audi TT, um, AJ. I've had it since new. Um, I chose it because I wanted to go on a road trip with my friends and took it all around Europe. Uh, go on, tell me about the road trip. Was that like your first trip in the car? It was the first trip in the car. I decided that I'd run the engine in all the way to Nice and then I would have done 500 Driving basically, and then I could open up the tap. Nice, so it was literally to run it in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tell me about um, knocks and scrapes along the way. Uh, oh, well, we took it on car trains. So the first car train we took from Paris to Nice, and then when we got to Nice, it was actually stuck on the car train with two other cars, and they left basically the people behind us left their keys back in Paris, so we had to spend the day in Nice. And then when they finally took my car off the train, they had scraped my alloys. And they were, it was a brand new car at the time. So I was pretty annoyed. Oh dear! <laughs> um, so what else did you have before this? Uh, a Ford Fiesta ST. In silver. And that was my second car. So you got this one in 2012? Uh, what's the colour called? Um, I can't remember. Do you know what the colour's called? <laughs> I can't remember what the colour's called. <laughs> um, something something is it scuba blue? Scuba blue, yeah. Yeah. You're right, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so tell us about other ge gadgets and gizmos. Um, well, this is the TTS model, so it's got the uh, Audi magnetic ride. Um, it's got a sporty button. Um, it's got the dual clutch transmission. Uh, it's a two litre engine and I think it's 268 brake horsepower, but I might be wrong, it might be 272. I can't remember now. Um, it's pretty quick. I took it down the autobahn in Germany. How fast did you go on the autobahn? Fast enough to see the <laughs> Good effect. That little gauge there. Yeah, you can actually see it moving cool. when you're going down the outer van. Cool. Well, it's got plenty of does. cubby holes as well, like these little things here. Um, this actually broke on me, and there's like a little plastic thing in here. Is this a common problem with these? I guess so, because you can buy the part on eBay, and then. Um, so it's like a little pneumatic plastic thing. And you can get access to it through this side panel here and replace it yourself. And then it makes the glove box open slowly like that. And it also then turns the light on in here. So this is the only problem you've had on your fantastic modern Audi. Nope. Um, air conditioning is broken several times. Oh dear. In six years, probably about four or five times. Um, and then in my previous Audi TT, it did the same thing, so that must be a known problem. And what did the dealers say about that? Well, it was replaced in warranty every time, which was good. Mm. And then when it broke outside of warranty because of the fault, um, was related to the part that they replaced, they kept replacing it basically. So I think the air conditioning broke four times in six years. So Would be the, annoying if it wasn't it's in the warranty. Mo it's the motor fan that keeps going. The other thing that keep that went was the, um, the LED brake light, and we managed to replace that. In your ah, let's talk through the LED brake light. Yeah, what did we do for that? I remember fixing this. So this, these LEDs go in here because there's like a rubber seal underneath the LED brake light, and that obviously degrades over time. It collects water. this whole section off here and then there's um, a couple of bolts in here and then inside there there's um, another bolt which is 
crazy to get out and because I've got small hands. Your paint is really, really hot on my leg. I just <laughs> touched that with my leg and now my leg is slightly burnt. It feels like it should have turned metallic blue, but it hasn't. So this is the uh, first video I've been in, isn't it? This is the first one you've ever been in. And I feel really embarrassed. Yeah, give me some attention back. Give me a fucking... <laughs> there we are. Right, okay. So, right, tell me about... Um, do you keep it in manual or in automatic? What do you do? Automatic, most of the time. If I go down some twisties, though, I'll put it in the um, manual mode and use the paddles. Have you tried it in... These paddles here. So yeah. how often do you use it in manual? Not very often. Not really. Maybe like once a year. Is it good in traffic? It's really good in traffic, yeah. How does it compete with a tiny bicycle? Uh, well, my tiny bicycle could probably beat this car, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only in traffic? <laughs> Only in traffic. Okay. I can actually get home faster on my little tiny bicycle than I can in this car from work. So are these really different to the new one? Um, I don't think so. But I've not really looked at the new one in lots of detail. But I think the main differences are the central console. I think the the standard TT has more power, but they do have the the TTS also has more power in the new one. I think they changed this light here, obviously because it's a problem, to a, a longer strip that went entirely across the boot there. Yeah, that was a fucking nuisance for that. Um, what else have they changed? I think they made it, the side skirts on the new one more aggressive. I think they've made everything square. And you don't get that tacky, like the, the bigger spoiler that you get on the TTRS, do you? No, I don't like big fat spoilers anyway. I like the ones that just pack away neatly. Like that. So I guess then it's a pretty quick like alternative to say like a Cayman. Or something. I don't nature. really know in comparison to any other cars, yeah. but this is this is the one I liked because it looks pretty. It's got um, the automatic gearbox, so you can drive it with heels on on nights <laughs> out. Uh, How many heels? <laughs> How many heels can you fit in the boot? Well, this is the thing that we want to do, isn't it? And I reckon I could fit my entire collection of heels in the boot of this car. I don't know. I don't know. It's surprisingly big, this boot, you know. Like, this this section comes off here really quickly, like that. Yeah, we can throw that away now, can't we? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then they fold down. Like... Cool. That? It's almost big enough to be a bed. I reckon you could fit in there. <laughs> Yeah, you can fit an Ellie comfortably in the back of this car with the seats down. Ta -da! Things to look out for? So I would say the air conditioning, because that's broken two of my cars um, several times. Uh, the LED, the brake light, to make sure all the LEDs are functioning. You can actually buy this part pretty cheap off eBay for about £50, I think it was. And it's a bit fiddly to replace, but there are plenty of other YouTube videos on there to show you how to do that. Um, my glove box piston broke, but again, it's a pretty standard part. Uh, other than that, it's been pretty reliable. Yeah. Mm. Cheap to service. Um, it's under the threshold for the higher service if you went to Audi. I get it serviced at Audi every year. Yes.